AFTV Young as we are here with Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. Lee, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Lovely sunshine and it's always a pleasure to come and I've back. I've got a long shirt. I've got a long, long sleeve, sleeve shirt. shirt on as well. Listen, obviously... Now, why did you get the long sleeve shirt? I just thought it looked different. It's just something different. I thought it was really nice. Yeah? But yeah. Um, you picked the wrong day. Picked the wrong day, That's yeah. Okay. But obviously this kit has launched today. Yeah. First thoughts, what do you think of it? I have to be honest. Um, obviously, I like the red and white. Yeah. Everybody loves red and white. Uh, this bit... Mm. Not too sure about the little that bit because it does look a bit pink, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with pink. Yeah. But it's I don't know. It's, I'm not sure about that. I'd like to see an all white sleeve. I'm a bit of a traditionalist. I, I mean, the '70s shirt for me is the best one anyway. Yeah. So I think maybe we could have gone a bit more retro, but it's it's okay. okay I, so I, I will be buying one. Yeah, definitely. I'll always buy one. So one thing that I haven't done yet is get a name on the back of my shirt. There's a lot. Yeah, there's nothing on the back yet. yet. I was debating getting Lee Dixon. No, you weren't. <laughs> so, yes, I was. Don't trust lie. me, trust me. Who should I get on the back of my shirt of all the current players? Or even legends? Um, well, if it was me, I would get... Um, Lee Dixon? Well, you, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have my own name on my own shirt, would I? I mean, I've got a few of them at home, yeah. but I wouldn't, like, go into the shop and say, could I have Dixon too? <laughs> I don't think that no one's ever gone into the shop and asked for Dixon too. Or well, maybe sold one in the past, but I'd probably go for... I'd, I mean, I love Liam Brady, so mm. I'd probably get Brady. Brady on the back, yeah. yeah. Brady seven? Yeah, was he seven? Yeah. Seven. Oh my God, he's just said. <laughs> yes, I know he's seven. I was just double checking. I was just double checking. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Definitely Brady. So obviously we've got a new manager, yeah. Unai Emery. Not all we who expected. Yeah. But he's here now. Mm -hmm. What do you think of him as a manager? Well, I, I I quite like the appointment. I think we definitely needed a shake up. Mm. Uh, Arsene was a legend and will always be a legend. But I think that it was time and. Um, and I'm pleased we've gone for someone a little bit different. He's got different ideas. Yeah. And he will shake a few uh, of the players. I think they needed a little bit of a shake. Yeah. There'll be, uh, there'll be change of personnel. There'll be new players coming in. And there'll be his type of players. And I think the yeah. fans will, won't take long before they realise um, that they've got somebody who won't take yeah. um, anything for granted. And I think the players uh, will certainly be woken up because uh, his attention to detail and the way he manages is very intense um, and he will make sure that they are spot on with every single yeah. department. Not that Arsene wasn't, but he was just yeah. a bit of a malaise around the place and I think now uh, you're going to get a manager who's um, it's going to rattle a few cages. I think that's good, really good. So I'm, I'm, I think it's a good signing. Who realistically do you reckon he can bring into Arsenal? Well, I think, I, I think realistically he can bring in virtually anybody, anybody in. Um, the only caveat to that is that the money that he'd be given to spend oh, only 50 million yeah well, I don't think that's mm. right but um, if uh, if he goes with a, a shopping list and it's 100 million I'm pretty sure he'll get that yeah so 50 million is something in the media there's been rumours of that I mean, what can you buy for 50 million based on what we've got now I think the team needs um, a shake up there needs to be a few players need to move out and some need to come in and that's going to take the 50 million might be obviously dependent on how many players he can move out and yeah. what, what he gets in for those players but if, you know where are you going to get the money from yeah. unless you sell one of your big players then you're not going to get big money so it's really interesting time yeah. I think at the moment okay fair enough and obviously the days of long lasting managers are obviously over Arsene Wenger was probably the last one if you ask me how long how long do you think the club should give Unai Emery to do what he needs to do well I think I, I'm a big believer in um, managers should be given time and yeah. I think any manager who takes a job or is given a job should be given three years yeah. and that, the length of the contract should be three years and if you if the club don't have success in those three years then that's the club's fault no his phone's way. just gone off no can't way. believe it who is that? it's your fault oh. <clears throat> okay finally to end off how long realistically do you think Emery should be given I think the days of long lasting managers are over mm -hmm. how long do you think he should be given well, I, I, I I've always been a believer that three years should be the minimum that any manager gets mm -hmm. because in order to come into a new club you have to change ideas, philosophies, playing staff, coaching staff and to give six months to a year is just not enough. So all managers, I believe, should be given three years minimum and, and I'm not changed that view. It's great to have you on. Pleasure, mate. Yep.